All right, guys, we're only at midfield when it comes to making our appetizers. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make pull apart beer buns with some killer hot artichoke dip. Now, where the barbecue sauce is strictly a matter of taste and doesn't really require a recipe, when it comes to beer bread, this is more chemistry than cooking, and it actually requires that you are you adhere to certain criteria. The first of which is you want to use three, count them, three cups of flour. Okay, next we're going to add in two tablespoons of baking powder. One. Two. We're also going to put in, in this case, honey. You can also use sugar. I just prefer honey. You're going to put in a teaspoon of salt. There you have it. And last but not least, you want to pour in your beer. And what I like to do is pour in some, stir it, and then pour in some more. Because again, if you do this properly, what you wind up with is bread. Gets a little dry, add a little more beer. You may use the entire bottle. You may use just a little bit less. It's all up to you. You have to get the right consistency. And as you'll notice, it's starting to clump together. And I actually will use probably the entire bottle of beer. There it is. Once you get down to this phase, what you want to do Stick your hand in the bag, put a little flour on your hands, and then just start pulling it together. This is what making bread is all about, kneading. Need a little more flour? Poof! There it is. Because again, you want this thing to have the consistency of bread. And then what we will do is we'll actually pull this apart, and we will turn it into buns. And then we'll make our artichoke dip which we will put on the middle of our buns. So let's get the beer buns going here. Of course you end up with franken hands, but that's okay, franken fingers are not bad. Just keep working it until you incorporate all the flour down there. And again, if it's too sticky, poof, add a little more flour. And you'll notice it's starting to come together now. This is the fun part, guys. This is the manly man cave stuff where you dig in with your hands and make your bread. There you go, see? Now we're starting to get to a bread consistency. So feel free to pull it out and play with it. You know how your mom always told you not to play with your food? Well, when it comes to bread, it's a requirement. All right. All right. Keep working it around in the remaining flour in the bottom. Again, you don't have to incorporate all of it, but you don't want the bread to be too sticky and you don't want it to be too dry. You'll, you'll get the hang of it. All right. All right. Once you get it right, and that's about right, what I'm going to do is the same thing we did before. I'm going to take my pie plate, I'm going to spray it. with a little cooking spray, just to keep everything from sticking to itself. And then I'm gonna take, break off a hunk of the beer. It's kinda of like making meat, little meatballs. You know, you wanna make your little beer buns, and you just wanna start putting them all the way around the pan. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just make them big enough so that they'll form the little buns. But 
They don't have to be exactly perfect like the meatballs. They just want to, in fact, if they're a little crinkly, that's what gives them some texture. All right. And when you're done, you should have a ring of beer bread. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this bad boy and get it out of the way. Because the next thing I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you how to make the dip. Get that tag out of the way. This is all you really need. This, this, and this. Or in my case, this. Break yourself out another bowl. All right. What you're going to do first, you're going to open up one can of artichoke. And what you're going to do is open it up just enough so you can drain it. I'm going to drain it in the sink. Glug, 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 get all the liquid out of it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the lid off this bad boy. And I'm going to start taking out one of these at a time. And just flake them up, break them up, throw them into the bowl. You know, again, there's, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just do it. <laughs> Get it done until you've got all of the artichoke hearts shredded in the bottom of the bowl. Again, this is the playing with your food part that's so cool to Anybody who's into man cave munchies. Keep shredding until they're all done. Once you get the whole can shredded up, I'll show you what to do next. We're going to make the bread at the same time, and then we're going to have the bread to spread it on. This also goes very good on chips. All right, anyway, that's what it should look like once to this point of the procedure. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take out one of these and you're going to take this and you're going to put mayonnaise in. They can put up to a cup. Again, you know, use as much or as little as you want. I generally try to put enough in there that it's going to turn this thing into dip. All right. And again, what you can do is you can put in some shredded cheese, but since I'm not into shredded cheese, what I do is put some Chesapeake Bay seasoning on it. But the way I'm going to do it is put it on top once I put it back into our beer bread. So here's the beer bread. Boom. Put our dip in the middle. Bam. Real complicated procedure, right? And then last but not least, then what you're going to do is you're going to pop this into a 350 degree oven for precisely 45 minutes and at the end your buns will be baked and your, the topping on the uh, artichokes will be nice and crispy brown. So trust me, we'll get it done. Watch what happens next. Score! 15 yards, roughing the kitchen.